Good morning, Cypher. Friends, Mitty Man, coming at you from Walker's Music. That was another word for the day. Saturday morning edition, people. We just give God the praise and give Him all the glory for life, health, and strength. Want to go ahead on and give a shout out to the YouTube fam. Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, with his mama JT. Also to the End Time Harvest Gang, Brother L.A., King of Knowledge, Pastor Michael McCray, Johnny McCray, Evangelist McCray. We just want to give all y'all your honor. Also to the Blog Talk family, and we all the supporters. We just want the Mini Man want to say something right on the top of the morning here that uh, Mini Man apologizes for the brief interruption. And as I say, brief interruption on last night, the blog talk radio, the Bible study, Satan got in it. And uh, matter of fact, I was just about to do my the announcement, as I always do when I'm just about to start the uh, Bible study. Modem went clean out, stayed out, for at least, I know, for the, about two hours after it went out. It, it stayed off. Couldn't get the connection back. Just so happened that I also have a DSL connection, and uh, I transferred over to that network, and uh, I was able to get back on and do certain things, let certain people know what time it was. But I just wanted to know, let, let everybody know that I'm just put, I put Satan on notice. That he want to mess with the Lord's Bible study. I'm going to take some more planks out of his kingdom. So in other words, it doesn't stop anything. In other words, it just make me want to just do more damage to his kingdom. And Mitty Man is going to continue to do just that. I also got some uh, some more uh, correspondence uh, from some of the other members, and uh, Mitty Man did respond. I don't know whether you got the information or you got the message, but I did respond. And uh, Mitty Man going to respond right now, and I do it publicly because I'm not afraid to do it publicly because I I just put an announcement on the devil. I got him under my feet. And I'm going to suggest that all of you do the same thing. You put the devil under your feet. That's where he belongs. You don't, don't go around here worrying about the devil and hollering about the devil. You put the devil under your feet. Use your authority in Christ's name. Not your name, but in Christ Jesus' name. Use your authority. He gave us that. And uh, so I'm just putting everybody on notice. Don't worry about people. When people don't like to see things go well. And then you got all this jealousy and envy among believers, which, which it shouldn't be. I'm going to call them so-called believers because if you, if they were really Christians, this would not be so. In other words, I have no problem with other ministries. However, they decide that they want to run there, that's them. That's their business. And I, I'm, I'm with them on whatever level they are on. I have nothing to do with anybody else's business. And nobody else has anything to do with mine. So I don't worry about it, but you got to be careful who you mess with. In other words, you need to be careful because, see, uh, who you think may not be a child of God may be one. So you need to be careful. In other words, you just need to mind your own business. That's what you need to do. It's a, it's a, it's a commandment that we mind our own business. And see, that's what the problem with a lot of us these days. We get to seeing, we get to looking at other people's ministry and getting jealous and envious of what they're doing because maybe the fact that they are what they are doing is successful maybe because they are following the direction of the Holy Spirit and you are not. That's maybe why yours is not working out so well. So don't get jealous, get right. Don't get jealous, get right. So if you get right and follow the Holy Spirit, yours will be successful. So my, my advice to you, put the devil on your feet. Let, never let any man or woman dictate and try to tell you the direction which you should go. You let the Spirit lead you and then put all the rest behind you. With that being said, Mitty Man just going to say that yes, Blog Talk Radio was disturbed last night. The Bible study did get disturbed, but guess what? Don't worry about it, Mitty Man. Mitty Man will always let the Spirit lead him and find another way if he have to. I'm going to say, I mean, it was real strange because, I mean, it was just about time. I mean, the music was playing. I was just about to do the announcement. As I always do. And then all of a sudden, zap. Modem went clean out. That's all right. That was a, a minor victory. Minor. But I'm going to take some more planks out of his kingdom. So that being said, we're asking that everyone should pray. I tell you that all the time. Pray. Pray that God send a revival. And if pray, 
and I'm going to ask you to do this. If whatever you get or whatever you get into, if God is not in it, please come on out of it. People, time is winding up very fast. I believe that. And it, we will soon see the arrival of our King, and that will be a blessed and glorious day. Amen. So with that being said, this is Middle Man saying peace. Have a great weekend. And remember, I told you, keep your eyes open. People are kind of weird out there, so you better keep your eyes open. The life you save may be your own. This is Middle Man saying peace. Goodbye.